Hello, I'm David Nuzik and I'm a QA analyst for the WordFence plugin. Today I'm going to help you get started with WordFence by outlining some of the basics at a high level and steps you might want to take after installation. By the end of this video, you should have an understanding of the security features WordFence offers and how it secures your website. Let's first take a look at the WordFence firewall, also known as the Web Application Firewall, or WAF. The WordFence firewall protects your WordPress server by detecting malicious behavior and blocking its source before it does any damage. The firewall also offers other features, one being brute force protection, which halts repeated efforts by bots and cyber criminals, such as from trying to log in by guessing usernames and passwords. Premium WordFence users also get access to our IP block list, which will immediately block the IP addresses of a significant amount of bots and cyber criminals out there on the web. When you first install the WordFence plugin, the firewall page may look like this for free users, or like this for premium users. Free users get access to our vast set of firewall rules, which define malicious behavior to look out for and block. However, free users only have access to the community set of firewall rules, which are delayed by 30 days. Premium users get real-time firewall rules protecting them from the latest attacks out there. WordFence Free is still a great solution, such as for hobbyist blogs and the like. However, for anyone running a business, we recommend purchasing WordFence Premium or better for protection from the latest attacks, unlocking the IP block list, support from our security experts, and more. Now, after installation, you may notice this message, which mentions firewall optimization. This makes the firewall even more efficient and effective, and while it's not a requirement, we encourage you to optimize it. In most cases, optimizing the firewall is very simple and just involves a few clicks. Optimizing it will allow the firewall to run before WordPress even starts, protecting against additional attacks. We'll go ahead and click this button now to proceed. You'll see a modal pop-up outlining some information. WordFence will run a few simple tests to automatically determine what kind of web server configuration you have. You might see one or more buttons to download any important files. Please do so before you continue so you have a backup. We can now click the Continue button to proceed. This process usually completes in seconds, but on some hosts you might have to wait as long as about 5 minutes for the changes to take effect. And that's it. We now have extended protection with the WordFence firewall. Now let's take a look at the WordFence security scanner. The security scanner is more than just a malware scanner. It can scan for and detect known vulnerabilities. It can notify you of changes in plugin, theme, or WordPress core files that may be unexpected. It can notify about various security concerns found, such as from out-of-date plugins, themes, WordPress version, and more. Free users may see the scan page like pictured here, and they'll get access to the community set of malware signatures, which are delayed by 30 days. Much like the firewall, the free version is still a great option for your site. However, for any sites that pull in a revenue, we recommend WordFence Premium or better for real-time malware signatures for the latest protection. WordFence Premium users may see the scan page like pictured here, and they get access to our spam advertising checks, which essentially check if your site has been associated with spam lists, such as by its URL being mentioned in spam emails. This is an indicator of compromise. In some cases, your site can be taken over without any obvious signs, and it can be used as a means of sending out spam emails to potentially millions of people without your knowledge. Let's go ahead and run scan now and see if we get any results. Here we see one result. We can see it's due to potential malware and is in our themes functions.php file and is marked as critical. There are a few options available to us. We can repair this file, which will basically reset it to factory defaults. This works by replacing the file with the original one that is on the wordpress.org repository. Note that whenever you repair a file, if you had any custom code within it, that will get replaced as well. We also see an ignore button here, and if we click it, we see that we can ignore the file until it changes or always ignore it. Last, we see a details button, and it's pretty self-explanatory. It will provide more information about the result, 
and in this case the suspected malware found in the file. There are also a few buttons below that allow us in a new browser tab to view the file or view its differences when compared to the WordPress.org repository's version, and a button to mark this issue as fixed. If we mark as fixed, this assumes you manually took action on your own and dismisses the result from this scan. However, if the issue indeed remains, it will show up in future scans. Now, if we wanted to ignore this, that will prevent the result from showing up again in the future if we choose the Always Ignore option, or if we choose the Ignore Until File Changes option, unless it indeed changes again. For this demo, I'll simply click this Repair button to restore the file to the official copy on the WordPress.org repository. A modal will pop up asking us to download the file, just in case, as it's a good idea to always have a backup. I'll go ahead and click this link to do so. And then I'll click Repair File to proceed. And it's as simple as that. The malware is now removed and the file has been reset. That's the basics for the WordFence Security Scanner. If you'd like to learn more, our help documentation is always a great resource. You can learn more about the scanner by clicking this link at the top right of the page. Now let's take a look at the login security features WordFence provides. WordFence provides various login security options to add additional protection to your site and to thwart those who may attempt to illegitimately authenticate and gain access to your site. One of the most simple and effective means of enhancing login security is with two-factor authentication. Most of us have dealt with two-factor authentication before. For example, many banks employ two-factor authentication, also known as 2FA, and if they don't recognize the computer you're logging in from, you've probably had to plug in a code right after your password was entered, either from a code sent via a text message to your phone, an email, or perhaps you may have had to obtain a code from an authenticator app. 2FA is simply another layer of security, making it far more difficult for a cybercriminal to log in as you. If someone were to get access to both your username and password, they'd still have to somehow know your 2FA code to be able to log in as you. You can enable 2FA for your user by simply going to the login security page as shown here. WordFence supports 2FA via authenticator apps such as Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, 1Password, Authy, and most other authenticator apps. Nearly all authenticator apps out there are free, and most can scan QR codes like the one pictured here to make setup a breeze. To enable 2FA for your user, simply follow the steps shown on this page. We recommend you download or otherwise record your recovery codes as a backup means of logging in in the event you lose access to your authenticator app and need to log in to disable and then re-enable 2FA for your user such as if you get a new phone or switch authenticator apps. Let's take a look at the settings tab now, which is only accessible to administrators. Here we can see various options for 2FA and I'll cover a couple of the essentials you should be aware of. First, we can see multiple drop-down boxes and we can use these to either make 2FA optional or required for specific roles if we like. By default, the settings will be as pictured, requiring 2FA for no one, but it being optional for administrators. We generally recommend making it required for administrators, whether that is just yourself or you have many, merely due to the full access administrators have. We certainly don't want that level of access falling into the wrong hands. When you change a role to require 2FA, there is by default a 10-day grace period. Any users with that role will have that many days to set up their 2FA once you mark this role as required and save. If they do not do so within the grace period, they will lose their ability to log in. However, as an administrator, you can extend their grace period if they have surpassed it and not set up 2FA yet, so they may have a little more time before being locked out again. This can be done by editing the user on the users page. If you'd like to learn more about WordFence 2FA or the other login security features such as reCAPTCHA, which can identify and block bots trying to log in, you can learn more by clicking this link at the top right of the page. Now let's briefly take a look at the audit log. The audit log is a premium feature. WordFence Premium, Care, and Response customers get full access to the audit log. The audit log captures and stores security-related events on your website as they happen, 
and sends them securely to an off-site location to protect them from tampering and store them for your review. The information uploaded does not include particularly sensitive information such as passwords, session cookies, and the like. The log can be instrumental in determining what may have happened during some types of attacks, and I like to think of it as a paper trail of important events that transpire on your site so that you can look up any potentially concerning events in an effort to figure out what might have gone wrong and so you can prevent it in the future. The audit log doesn't upload anything for free users and is only visible in a preview mode, recording a handful of events locally, and only accessible by administrators viewing the audit log page as shown here. You can always disable the preview mode if desired by simply clicking the disabled button and then clicking save changes. For premium users, the audit log by default is in the same mode, only recording a handful of events locally as shown here. Similarly, you can disable this if desired. WordFence Care and Response users have the Significant Events mode enabled by default, as the audit log can be highly useful to our security experts monitoring the security of your site, as well as for any root cause analysis should a security issue occur. For premium users, if you'd like to opt in to securely uploading security-related events, you can do so by first connecting your site to WordFence Central by clicking this Connect Site button. However, before I demonstrate that process, let me very briefly discuss what WordFence Central is. WordFence Central is a free resource for all users, regardless of the WordFence license you have, and is a great way to manage the security for one or more WordPress sites with WordFence all in one location. It includes a view of security events across all your connected sites, enables you to scan and review results. It also offers template-based security configuration management, and is also where premium care and response users can securely view their audit log details. Now let's go ahead and connect this site to WordFence Central. For this demonstration, we're assuming you haven't already connected it, such as on the WordFence dashboard page. When you do this, you'll see we're routed to wordfence.com. You may need to log in if prompted. Simply click the Add Site button, and you'll be temporarily routed back to your site while the connection is securely established between our website and yours. As long as your site is publicly accessible, all should go well, and you should see a success message like pictured here. Now we can add more sites if we have any, or simply click the Cancel button or the X to exit. Now let's go back to our site, and on the audit log page, we'll enable uploading by picking either the Significant Events or All Events button, and then clicking Save Changes. Now when there are any security-related events, they'll upload and be accessible on WordFence Central for your review. Now if we head back over to WordFence Central, you'll notice this link to the audit log. If we click it, that will take us to the logs page, and you can see our recent event here where we enabled it. This confirms the audit log is working as expected. If you'd like to learn more about the audit log, including precisely what events and information are captured for these significant events and all events modes, you can click this link at the top right of the page. Now let's briefly look at a summary of the differences between the different licensing models for WordFence. WordFence Free offers excellent protection for your site and is generally a good choice for personal blogs, hobbyist sites, or sites that don't pull in a revenue. With WordFence Free, you get most of the protection from our paid options, but the firewall rules and our scanner's malware signatures are delayed by 30 days. Support is available from the community on the WordPress.org forums. WordFence Premium offers superior protection for your site and is generally a good choice for any site that pulls in a revenue, such as blogs, news sites, e-commerce sites, and more. You'll get real-time firewall rules, real-time malware signatures, access to the IP block list, and you also get ticket-based support, which enables you to reach out to our experts for anything you need during regular business hours. WordFence Care offers the same features and capabilities as WordFence Premium, but with priority support during regular hours and offers remote hands-on assistance. Our experts will install WordFence and manage your site's security for you, so you can focus on your business. We'll also audit the security of your site annually if you'd like. If you get hacked or have other security issues, our team can help you directly and try to find a root cause of the issue so it may be prevented in the future. WordFence Response offers the same features and capabilities as WordFence Premium and the same hands-on assistance like with WordFence Care, but you get priority support with a one-hour response time that is available 24-7 365 days a year. 
WordFence response is recommended for any sites that cannot tolerate downtime, such as e-commerce sites or other mission-critical sites. We'll also throw in an additional security audit each year if you'd like. WordFence is the leading security solution for WordPress and is installed on over 5 million sites. If you'd like to learn more about WordFence, you can access our comprehensive documentation at wordfence.com help. We've put a lot of effort into making our documentation high quality and easy to understand. If you'd like to learn more about the different licensing options or other products we offer, please visit wordfence.com products. Thank you for watching and we look forward to protecting your site.